everyone, my name is Iris Franz and today we're going to talk about the budget line. So um, suppose you have a budget for fruit in a supermarket. Your budget is $10 and you plan to buy two kinds of fruit. One is apple and one is banana. So the price of an apple is $2 and the price of a banana is a dollar. So um, how can you buy these apples and bananas? So if you use all the budget to buy apples, then you can buy five apples because 10 divided by 2 will give you five. And if you use all the budget on buying bananas, then you can buy 10 bananas because 10 divided by 1 is 10. And we're going to put our apples on the horizontal axis and our bananas on the vertical axis. So you can draw a budget line. So if we buy no bananas but only apples, then we buy five apples and no bananas. And if we do the other way around, we buy only bananas and no apples, then you have zero apples and 10 bananas. Of course, you can buy any combination between the two. You can buy four apples and two bananas. So if you buy four apples, that means you use four times two, eight dollars on apples. Then you have two dollars left to buy bananas and that will get you two bananas and so on and so forth. So you have several combinations. And uh, you can calculate the slope of a budget line. So how do you calculate the slope? We know slope is rise over the run. And uh, what is the rise? Suppose we're going from point B to point A. So point B is that you have uh, zero apples and 10 bananas. And point A is that you have five apples and zero bananas. So you're going from point B to point A, meaning we're going from point zero 010 to point five zero. So what is the rise? So your rise, you're going from 10 to 0. So your quote unquote rise is actually negative 10 because you're moving from 10 to 0. You're losing 10. So your rise is negative 10. And your run will be from 0 to 5. Therefore, your run is positive 5. And therefore, the slope of your budget line will be negative 2. So what does this mean? So you see, there's a negative sign. That means something. And going back to our economics, that means you're sacrificing something. So for each apple you get, you will have to sacrifice two bananas. So the slope of the budget line actually tells you the opportunity cost of an apple in terms of bananas. Meaning, if you want to get one more apple, you will have to sacrifice two bananas. That's the reason why you see negative sign here. So what does that mean? Well, the price of an apple is $2. In order to buy an, an apple, that means you cannot use that $2 to buy how many bananas? The price of a banana is one. So if you use $2 to buy one apple, that means you cannot use that $2 to buy two bananas. And therefore, in order to get one apple, you have to sacrifice two bananas. And that's the reason why you see a negative sign here. So you can see the slope of a budget line tells you the opportunity cost of an apple in terms of bananas. Or more generally, you can say that the slope of a budget line tells you the opportunity cost of the good at the horizontal axis in terms of the good on the vertical axis. In order to get one good on the horizontal axis, how many of the good on the vertical axis do you need to sacrifice? So that's the meaning of the budget line. So remember in um, the beginning when we're doing overview, we say economics is a social science that shows us how people deal with unlimited wants with limited resources, meaning how we deal with scarcity. And budget line tells you that, meaning, hey, you know what? You can't have everything because we have a budget that's limited. So if you want to get one more apple, you just have to sacrifice two bananas. So that tells you opportunity cost. And finally, in our real life application, we are dealing with budget line all the time, um, even though it's more complicated because you need to buy multiple goods, not just two, right? So sometimes uh, during Christmas holidays, your mom will ask you, hey, this year, do you prefer me to give you a tablet or would you like some more new outfit for the new semester? And you can't have both. If you choose a tablet, that means you can't have a new outfit for the new semester. But if you choose to have a new outfit, that means you have to make do with your old tablet. 
Same thing here. If you want more apples, you just have to sacrifice some bananas. That's real life and that's economics. Thanks for watching and good luck with your studying.